Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to be concise here because I have a few things I want to share. I have a bit of a doomsday warning for you today. Catholics who have any biblical sense, who have even a little bit of discernment, you know that the chastisement that the world is experiencing right now, oh, it's about to get a lot worse. Let me just quote to you a few things. First of all, Ukraine's incursion into Russia. We support Ukraine. It's satisfying to see Russia now getting a taste of their own medicine. However, and a lot of you aren't going to like me saying this, but we want world peace. We don't want nuclear war. So though it might be, again, satisfying to see Ukraine getting some wins here, this is what Cardinal Perlin said. He gave a little warning a few days ago regarding Ukraine's incursion into Russia. He says these are very worrying developments. Now, Cardinal Perlin, he supports Ukraine. But he also says these are very worrying developments because it means opening new fronts. In this sense, the possibilities of peace are getting further and further away. And Putin has threatened a nuclear response. If NATO starts kind of shipping in all of their weaponry into Russia, and I agree with Cardinal Perlin, that's kind of worrying. Now, I want to read to you, we need to listen to the prophets. The Blessed Virgin Mary has been warning us over and over again that if we continue to rebel against the God of infinite love who, who loves us, you know, if we go against his natural law, if we're defiant of him, there will be a chastisement. For example, Our Lady in Argentina, the apparitions of St. Nicholas, approved by the church, recognized by the church. It's reported that the Blessed Mother said, all of humanity is contaminated. And oh, do we see that today? It is so hard to convince our young people of the need to seek first the kingdom of God and to follow the Lord Jesus Christ and to, to be faithful children of the Catholic Church because the woke ideologies being just spewed out by almost every <laughs> different part of the, the world is contaminating our young people and they don't uh, love the Lord Jesus, so many of them. They're not following in the Lord Jesus' footsteps. Contaminated. All of humanity is contaminated. You'd have to be as blind as a bat not to recognize that. She goes on to say, at this moment, humanity is hanging by a thread. And this warning that humanity is hanging by a thread is repeated over and over again in these reported apparitions, uh, which are recognized by the church. For example, Our Lady of Kibeho. You know the story of Our Lady of Kibeho, the same thing. Our Blessed Mother came and warned the people of Rwanda. I remember this when I was a young person. These reports, the Blessed Mother apparently is appearing in Rwanda. She's warning the people of Rwanda, if they don't get rid of the hatred in their hearts, rivers of blood will flow through Rwanda. Check this out. This is the intro in the insert. 13 years before the bloody 1994 genocide that swept across Rwanda and left more than a million people dead. Do you remember that? The Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ appeared to eight young people in the rural village of Kibeho. Through these visionaries, Mary and Jesus warned of the looming Holocaust, which they assured could be averted if Rwanda opened their hearts to God and embraced his love. There wasn't much of a response to this urgent plea from heaven. And again, these are just two examples. If you, in this book, The World of Marian Apparitions, which goes through all of the reported apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary, recognized by the church at different levels. That's the warning right now for our time. The world is hanging by a thread. In, in Our Lady Cabejo, the Blessed Mother is reported to have said, we're, we're headed towards a precipice. And so my point is, is that we need to repent. We need to save ourselves from this corrupt generation. 
Now is the time to make a decision to begin to live the gospel as best as you can. Renounce evil, renounce Satan in his ways, and begin to live for God. Sometimes I feel like, especially with this whole threat from Russia over a nuclear holocaust and how people are just so oblivious to the, the, the danger the world seems to be. And I feel like I'm on a, on a carnival, carnival cruise and everyone's partying and having a good time. And you can see the shallow reefs. You can sometimes hear the belly of the ship scraping against rocks underwater. And, and I think to myself, you guys are all partying as if everything is, is just hunky-dory. You don't realize the great danger we are in right now. And so my word is repent, try as best as you can to live the gospel right now. Love the Lord, your God who made you, follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Go to confession if you need to, go to confession, go to mass and prepare yourself for what seems to be coming. Because if you have, again, any biblical sense, you know, when the prophets give warnings, it's not in vain. Viva Cristo Re.